President, Senator Helms, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> this very eloquent introduction left me a little bit in the position I was once at a reception where a lady came up to me and said, I understand you are a fascinating man, she said. Fascinate me. <laughs> it, uh, it turned, I tell you, it turned into one of the less successful conversations <laughs> that I have had. Now, I want to talk to you about the world in which America finds itself in the post-Cold War period. It is a perplexing world because we are fresh from a huge victory. I don't know any other nation that can say, comparing what it said 40 years earlier with what then finally happened, which can say it has so completely achieved its objectives. At the, if you compare what American leaders were saying at the beginning of the Cold War with what happened at the end of the Cold War. We have really achieved everything we set out to do. But George Bernard Shaw once said, there are two tragedies in life. One, that you fail to achieve your heart's desire. And the second tragedy is that you achieve your heart's desire. Because what are you going to do afterwards? So for the United States now, the question is, where do we go from here? And it's all the more important because when you travel around the world with all the difficulties we have at home, we are the most cohesive society. We are the people whose style of living with each other is the most generous. And without us, most solutions are not possible. But we also have to know where to engage ourselves and where not to do it and for what. The United States has no foreign policy tradition comparable to that of any other nation. We are the only major nation in the world whose history can be precisely dated to a specific day when it began. We are the only major nation in the world that has been populated almost entirely by immigrants. 